All right, we got we got a special guest here. State going, state your name, man. What My you name represent? is Musab, aka PCA Pack, and I represent Paper Chasing Ox, Paper Chasing Achi, the Bros, Paper Chasing Brothers. Achi is the Arabic word for brothers. I just put it short, Ak, basically like bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to. It just symbolizes unity, like all of us. Paper chasing together, no hatred between it, no nothing, no watching the next man's pocket. Stay on your own time and together forever, we gonna stay stronger, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to it. Yes, sir. So how long have how long have your clothing line been up and running? When we year when did you start this? The actual name and the idea behind it, I've had it no cap like since middle school. I've been I've been trying to be on my entrepreneur stuff, like get it going, but I was bullshitting, so I say for about seven years, but the original first ever drop was December of 2022, so almost a year. We're almost a year officially in. Okay. Almost there. So when you first got into it, like, did you know anybody else that was in the in the clothing business? You know, because there's a lot of there's a lot of future designers that that feel like they don't they don't have an outlet into designing. No. So did you know anybody or? Nah, I, ain't, I I didn't know nobody coming into this, and I didn't really, like, I didn't really even have no, like, influence or nothing. I didn't really have that. But what I did know is, since, like, I'm Pakistani, so what I did know is that the factories, the textile industry is very prominent in Pakistan. So with that, I just took, I used my hustle, and I was like, forget it. I'm going to just go ahead, take this trip to Pakistan. I was going back and forth about three, four years, like zero results. And Hold on, so you actually took flights for this? Man, I took, I took flights years back to back for this every summer, like, and it failed every time. I ain't gonna lie to, last summer and that won't work for me. Alhamdulillah. So now we're here getting this stuff made. So what made what made you keep going? Because something like that, where you're putting money into it and it's not generating any revenue, a lot of people that gave up. So like, what kept you going? What kept you? you know, with the faith. Honestly, it's like, in my whole life, I'm gonna be honest, I felt like I could never do nothing. I sleep felt like a failure a little bit in life all around. But when PCA came in my life and like the way I, like the energy it gave me and the feeling that it gave me, it was like, man, I ain't never had no plan A or plan B. That's what I'm trying to say. So when this came, it was the only plan. So for me, it was like, man, I gotta do it. And then I hear all these other people like that have made it already. They stories talking about how many times they failed and failed. I'm like, shit, I might as well fail a couple times too to learn. And then another thing is I told my mom and my dad, they kept bugging me about going to college. And I told them, I said, give me these four years to fuck up and learn. And the same four years you would have wanted me to go to college, give me those four years to mess up and learn myself. And I'm gonna have it figured out one day, inshallah. And alhamdulillah, I'm at, I feel like I'm at the starting line again, but we getting there. Yes, like, sir. We got the foundation on lock now. You know what I'm saying? So now it's gonna be, inshallah, an easy, smooth race. So what was the most challenging thing like about, you know, about you chasing your dream? Because, you know, in a lot of people's lives, there's, there's doubters, there's people that you know, influenced them so much that it, it makes them want to just go get a job. It makes them want to just go to college. Yeah. You know, so what what was the toughest thing for you as far as, you know, your mom and your, your, your pops wanted you to go to college? How did you shake that, you know, and not following their dreams for you? It like, was, where did you get that strength from to do that? Because that's tough. Yeah, it was just, I ain't gonna lie, it's just, I always been a little hard-headed kid. Like, I never really listened to nobody anyway. You get what I'm saying? And then, so, but with this, it was like, this real life, like my life, my death, like real life, what I was, somebody had told me while I was beginning this stuff, they told me the next, like the work you put in right now, or the work you don't put in right now, is gonna determine where you are in the future or where you're not gonna be at in the future. So that, it was like, I got to do it for myself, man, because I wasn't trying to be stuck in no office or, God forbid, college ain't go smooth for me. I would have been, there ain't no telling what I would have been doing. So, alhamdulillah, man, I just stuck to this. 
it's, you, fa you found your purpose. Yeah, what, that's what it was. That's why I gave you that energy and that spark that nothing else did. That's what it was. That's what it was. Humdilida, humdilida. So how, how old are you? I am 21 years old. Man, y'all guys are young doing it, man. Y'all, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. y'all inspire a lot of people, man. Young doing it. I this. hope too. That's 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 what, and that's another thing too. Is cause like, for me, it was more so like growing up in my community. We always looked up to like the drug dealers and stuff. Like we ain't really have no entrepreneurs to look up to. You feel me? Like, and then you go into the mushrooms or all these places. You got like, they all on your. Like your top about everything they get on they they on your beam, but they ain't doing nothing. Like yeah. they over here, Walmart workers and stuff like that. And then yeah. the people that used to come to the mush at all cool and stuff, they was what? The drug dealers. So what I was trying to change up is I'm trying to be the the cool and the mush for the youth. You get what I'm saying? So we could change the environment, make this cool to them. And change the perception. That's what it what, is. Change what you can do with your life. Exactly. And how anything really possible, you just gotta really want it. Like anybody can do it, it's about who wants it. So how did you come into Islam? I was born into it, alhamdulillah. I was born a Muslim. So did you find that, did you find that to be challenging? Because again, the pressures of what you supposed to do <laughs> and you them. gotta do, how did you, how did you balance that? I ain't gonna lie, like growing up, I ain't really used to, really used to stay Islam. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be all the way a hundred with you. Like I ain't really even want to be a part of it. Like I used to even, like sometimes be like, damn, like why well, I was born into this situation. Like yeah, like deny it. Yeah, like why, why, why I gotta be part of this? And, something that got all these rules and all uh, these laws and that I gotta follow. Like why I can't just do what the next man doing? Why I can't just do what everybody doing? But then when I was 15, I got into a little trouble and it, it opened my eyes because. Like I, I, had, need those, I, I literally, we need those man. Rooms, I'm right? telling you, like I real life was sitting down and I prayed to Allah that one day, man. The next morning, the very next morning, my dua got accepted, and after that, alhamdulillah, I don't think I have ever missed this a lot since, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you. So alhamdulillah, that's, alhamdulillah. that's just what it is. It's like you gotta find it for yourself, no matter whether you born into it or not. It's like it's a life is a constant journey, man, and you never gonna I always have it figured out, bro. So. You just gotta work through a lot, work through whenever you need it. You know what I'm saying? Prayers is what really got us where we at for real. I'm doing a lot. Okay, I'm a couple more questions because oh I know y'all some busy, y'all some busy guys, sure. you know, and y'all here on y'all grind. Well, All right. Appreciate you. So, another thing that you told me off camera was your travels. Yeah. Like, what was what's some of the places that 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 you all travel to in in and what on that journey what was the most important thing you learned along your travels all right so i started traveling well to start this like like i said we've been doing it but i've been taking trips three four years so 2020 when i first went out the country i went to pakistan and that's when i realized to be like i realized thankfulness like and being grateful and just humbleness because when you go over there and you see the less fortunate like no matter how hard they trying, cause I know people working 10 times harder than me and they ain't making a dime compared to what, alhamdulillah, this closing stuff is doing for us. You know what I'm saying? So that just shows you like always be grateful and be thankful. And then after after that, after Pakistan, I went to I went to uh, Malaysia and that, that country also showed me like, it's a lot that you need to be thankful for. Like the stuff we think is bad, and it ain't all that bad, man. Like, you look at somebody else's situation, you realize how actually, like... So I, you learn gratitude. Gratitude, that's what it was. And then, the, but on one trip, I went to, like, Pakistan and Turkey. And if y'all know, Pakistan and Turkey is two different worlds. You got the bottom, then you got the top. It's two different worlds. And it's like, you see how people are happier in Pakistan, and it just it blows your brain. You like, man, how, bro? With the leak, they they have so little. It, they got damn near nothing, but they so happy. I don't. It just it it's, just made it just showed me like, man, materialistic ain't nothing really like this. It's, it's just it's it's you. You got to be happy within your people, your family. You got to keep them close. That's what's really gonna keep you happy. The materialistic, it, it's, it ain't it, really it's nothing. It's not the like, riches. Yeah, it's cool, but it ain't. Mm -hmm. That ain't really that important. All right, so last question, man. Where do you want to see your brand? Do you, is, do you just want it to be a clothing, a big clothing brand, or do you want it, want it to be a brand within a brand? I'm trying to have it a, 
like when I even registered this brand, it's it's registered as an umbrella of businesses. You get what I'm saying? So PCA is just the founding father, you would, I would say like the forefront or whatever. But from there, we're trying to go to, like me personally, my end goal is to make sure that my village back in Pakistan, cause I know it's cheap and I know everybody out here, if you from a third world country, you know how cheap and how easily you can really rebuild your own village. And re, you know what I'm saying? You can really start the economy out there with just a couple of hundred thousands, bro. It's not that hard. So, like, I really want to, well, my brand, I want to turn up my village, man. Like, I really want to have this as, like, really the reason our economy starts back good, man. That's, I know that's big dreaming, but so, you got to dream big, man. Yeah, you want to. You wanna... You want to become successful so that you can pour it into other meaningful yeah, things, other I want, people less fortunate. I really, it's not even so, I don't even want PCA to be the biggest name out there. Yeah. I want PCA to be the reason somebody else chased their dream and they the biggest in the world. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's, that's the end goal of PCA. It ain't, I, ain't just, I ain't really tripping about the, being the biggest name and all that, but I want to know that my purpose is getting you fulfilled. You want to your it. purpose and your mark. Exactly, that's all. Yes, sir, man. So we appreciate you, man, from coming coming here, man, all the way from Atlanta, man. Most dead. We appreciate y'all inviting us and having us and showing us all this love, man. Man, so give them, give them, give them the name of your, your, give them your handles and everything where they can find this clothing, where they can order it from. Cause y'all got can, some tight stuff. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at pca dot p a k k, and you can find the brand at uh, Paper Chasing A K H S. That's that's where you're gonna find a brand on Instagram, TikTok, whatever you need to look. YouTube, we on YouTube, we we everywhere. And let them see, let them see the, the, that sweatshirt. Man. I got some. Yeah. See, we be having details. We we got the we got yes, the sir. the details, the logos. You see, we be having the tags on them. Yeah, see, hoodie Legit. going crazy. You see. We got the colors that on there. The good old stitching. The good old embroidery, man. You see they what's put, going they on. Put, they put money back into it, man. Every time, man. They're not that's, cheating you. Good nah, fabric. for real. Real life went broke trying to do this. Not nah, for real. Man, so we out, man. Hawks draw, man. We thank y'all brothers for coming out, man. I appreciate you.